So my name is uh, Per Gilstrom, and I'm with a company called NLX. Uh, it's a software division of a company called NL. And uh, my title is uh, Architecture and Strategy Advisor for the company. We have used Neo4j for uh, several years, and we, we're an energy company, so we have lots of devices and IoT um, devices out in the field. And we use Neo4j to actually model how those devices are tied to uh, buildings, to uh, uh, customers, to sites, to what have you. So uh, Neo4j um, used from an application side through APIs to access this. We also use Neo4j to do uh, fine-grained access control. So we use the Neo4j as a database for access and control information that is leveraged through a company called Fortrack that we use. Well, the, if you think about IoT, uh, IoT and the hierarchical structure of, of how IoT works, uh, it's a natural mapping to a graph database and previously use relational, but in a graph, all the relationships are already compiled, so it's a lot faster and more natural to, to navigate and use. Uh, the surprising outcome actually was our uh, ability to leverage it from, the, from an access control perspective. Because in, uh, in the world of fine grain access control, there isn't a whole lot available off the shelf. And we've been able to leverage it and uh, get the access control we require for um, all this. So that's probably a, a usage scenario we hadn't envisioned when we started this, this work. Yeah, I do. I think um, start small. Start, I think, here at the conference, we talk about the idea of finding a real business problem uh, and then decide whether or not graph is the right thing. Okay. And if it is, looks promising, do something um, with a rapid return in terms of uh, what the problem solution could be with the problem and then build on that as you go forward. Actually, kind of true for almost any technology, in particular graph, because it's a bit of unusual still, and although it's taken off quite a bit, um, I think it's important to really understand what you're getting into and how you're gonna scale and all those things. So that takes time, but uh, get, a, get a footprint there first and then move from there.